back in the studio today and I'm going to share with you my technique for treating tissue paper so that you can make butterflies, dragonflies, or a whole host of other things. And I wanted to share with you also uh, the Somerset Studio edition that came out January and February. It's current. You can still get it on the newsstand. And I wrote an article about my naturalist notebook and sent them um, a, quite a few pieces of work and using this technique. So if you stop by um, Barnes & Noble or a bookstore to pick it up, um, you can read the article and see all of the work. Um, they did a beautiful job shooting this article and I just love it. We're going to get started in just a minute and I'm going to show you how to treat your tissue paper. To create these tissue paper butterflies and dragonflies um, and to do a lot of other things with this paper, you're going to need just plain old uh, white tissue paper, the kind that you would put in present, you know, wrap around a t-shirt or something as a gift. And um, I usually fold it in half and then just cut it into a half size sheet and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a substrate. I'm using uh, freezer paper, um, one of my favorite things in the studio, and because we're going to tape it down to that. And um, ink tense pencils or watercolor pencils, you could use acrylic. Um, as well, uh, but for creating uh, butterflies, dragonflies, anything really delicate, you're probably going to want to have a nice point rather than just a brush. You could use a, a tiny little um, liner brush to do it too, but I particularly like the pencils. And then um, golden uh, gel matte medium. You can use any kind of matte medium that you want to because you're actually not going to be seeing it. So you could use gloss if you have it whatever kind of um, matte or um, gel matte adhesive that you have would be perfect. Palette knife, some tape, and some kind of a straight edge. Um, I, you could use a, um, a ruler, an old ruler. I'm just using an old piece of matte board that I cut to use as my straight edge. So now I'm going to show you the technique. Alrighty then, so cut your sheet of uh, tissue paper in half. There is a shiny side and a matte side normally to plain old white tissue paper. And it's the shiny side, um, the slick side that you're going to actually use to put the gel medium on. Uh, what I do is cut that half a piece and then I cut several pieces off of that, uh, roughly five by seven pieces. And I make several pieces when I do this. Uh, so that I have it uh, saved and, and uh, available to use for different projects. So the first thing after you cut your tissue paper is to put it down on the freezer paper and then we're going to tape it down. Now when you tape this you want it to be taped completely down and as tight and taut as it can be. Because you're going to be placing that gel medium on it. And it's going to wrinkle slightly, kind of move around. I've done this many different ways and I started out using really large sheets and what I found out was it's much easier to to do this with smaller pieces than it is with uh, larger pieces. The larger pieces just well sometimes you just don't get enough uh, gel medium on it. Okay so you want it taped down as well as you can. And it is going to shrink up, so don't really worry about too much about the, uh, the wrinkles. The next thing is to use your palette knife, and you're going to scoop out a generous amount of gel medium. Now, I have to tell you, if your gel medium is old and really kind of thick, then this technique is not going to work. So, um, so you, you, need, you need to have it, you know pretty much a new bottle or this isn't a new bottle but I, I use it so much that it, it has that kind of consistency. And I'm going to um, place that as much as I can, as close as I can 
to the tape. And now I'm going to take my, my straight edge, which is just simply, and I'm sorry this is all white on white, uh, but that's the only way to do this. Then I'm just going to take this and just like you're creating a silk screen, you're going to pull it, not too hard, but hard enough to get a nice pretty even coat all the way down. And now you're still going to have some left and you can look at it to see where you didn't get quite the best connection and you can come back and do it one more time. Now you don't want to do this too many times because your paper will become really plasticized. It'll be plasticky and it's really not the look you're looking for. You want to be able to see through it. You want it to be really, really thin. So you can come back and, and clear off any excess. Now don't worry that it's <clears throat> wrinkled. It looks kind of funny right now, um, but uh, because when it dries, it's going to look just like this. So I'm just simply going to make some lines on here so that you can see uh, where the tape and the paper um, is on this on this substrate, the freezer paper, because uh, I know it's really hard to see since it's white. Um, but this one's all dry and all ready to go. And so now normally I, we were working in a close area, so I had this uh, taped down uh, to the other one. So I'm going to cut that side open. But normally what I, what I do is just simply peel the tape back. And it will just rip slightly, give you kind of a, a ruffled edge. You have to be kind of careful so you don't rip it. Um, but then you find out if there wasn't a good connection, that's for sure. Um, so we're just going to peel that down. And you can see the tissue paper. And I'm just going to cut this one because when you come up to this side, we'll be on the one that's just drying. Okay, now. So I, I don't want you to think that it's super fragile, but, but it, it, there is a fragility to it. But you can hopefully see the, um, or I don't know, feel it or hear it or see it, it when you look close up, that it has this light plastic coat on it. And then um, what I do is I make a mark um, on the side that I've used the uh, gel medium. And this is the side, the other side, the opposite side, the matte side is where we're going to um, paint. You could do it on this side as well, but this will have a nice adherence. Um, the, uh, the plastic, the gel medium will um, adhere nicely to any other work that you're working on, whether it's a board or a paper or whatever. So, And now we're going to uh, draw a butterfly. In creating your images, you can use um, wrapping paper, uh, which this is, a Cavallini wrapping paper, and uh, or you could use a source book, which is what I have. And so if you're not practiced at drawing, if you're not skilled at that, then um, simply uh, tracing the image, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, so see-through that you can use it for that purpose. Um, and that's part of the uh, beauty of it, is to be able to see through the uh, image and to see the, the printed word underneath or whatever it else you know you want to show through. Um, so, and then sim we're simply going to paint it.
I just quickly created this little butterfly for you. I would add more detail and um, you know take a little bit longer on it, but you get the idea. So I'm using watercolor pencils and a brush, just a little line brush to create what I want. And I would probably let this dry now and then go back and do another layer before I actually cut it out and use it um, on, on some kind of image or um, some kind of uh, page uh, in my journal or um, on, a, uh, on a board. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, vlog post on treating tissue paper so that you can create wonderful see-through things with it. And uh, in the next coming weeks, I'm going to be doing several vlog posts and I wanted to share with you, I'm going to be creating a, a travel journal out of this really old um, yucky um, album, photo album. And so you're going to want to see that, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to be heading to Europe in the fall, so I need to have uh, a wonderful travel album. So it's going to take a while. It'll probably be a long video, but I know you'll enjoy it. And then I'm also going to be doing a video about uh, how to tie your journals up. Several different, my favorite ways, I don't know, five different ways of tying up your journal, my favorite ones. Um, and so we'll be doing that and some journal prompts. So. I can't wait to see you again next time. Ciao, ciao.